Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.5 update on my iPhone 13. So as you can see, this is an iPhone 13 and yesterday night I received iOS 16.5 update. As you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 761.4 MB. Yes, so this is not a huge update. So if you're having any device, so the update size will be between 500 to 900 or 1 or GB. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features and some of the issues that Apple has resolved with iOS 16.5 and what are the upcoming features when we can, you know, see the new features with iOS 17. I'm going to discuss that in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end and let's get right into the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now, with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So the first things first, let me go to the settings, general and about section. If I go to the about section, as you can see, the iOS version says iOS 16.5. If I tap on it, the new build number with iOS 16.5 is 20F65. And also it gives you the details what and all is new. And if you want to check out the release notes, you can actually click on this support Apple website that will take you to the release notes page as well. Now I had taken a screenshot before updating yesterday, as you can see, before updating, it was on iOS 16.4.1. And if you take a look at the, you know, available space before update it was 67.53 GB and after update it is not a huge difference it is almost the same 68 GB but there is a new modem firmware with iOS 16.5 if you're coming from iOS 16.4 or 16.4.1 if you notice here, the modem firmware update or the modem firmware version before updating, it is 2.55.00 on my iPhone 13. And after updating, as you can see, the modem firmware is 2.70.01. So definitely a new modem firmware version or the update is always welcome. So if you're facing any network related issues or network connectivity issues, definitely update to iOS 16.5, which will have a new modem firmware update. Now let's talk about one more thing is that you know i have been telling you guys for a long time that with uh, this upcoming updates apple is trying to get rid of beta profile so finally with ios 16.5 Apple has, you know, removed the beta profile option. Now, if you want to update, if I go to the software profiles, you'll see something that is apart from automatic update, there is one more beta updates option. So you have to register your email ID to, you know, Apple developers beta program. If you would want to receive the beta updates, I have registered. So that's why it is showing my email ID. If this primary uh, iPhone does not, you know, have the beta software, that is why it is checked to off. But if I would want to receive the beta updates, I can actually, you know, select iOS 16 developers beta option and then I would be able to receive that. Now, one more feature I want to talk about that is new with iOS 16.5 is, you know, previously when you had less than 50% of battery life, you know, Apple won't allow you to, you know, install the iOS updates. But now with iOS 16.5, you can do that. So let me show you a screenshot. If you see this screenshot and if you notice here, it says this update requires at least 50% battery or to be connected to the power source. So with iOS 16.4.1 or previous iOS updates, it was not possible. But now with iOS 16.5, you can actually update your iPhone and you know if you are having more than 20% battery left in your iPhone. So that's a new feature. Now talking about one new feature, there's a new wallpaper. So that's actually a new thing. If you go to the wallpaper section and click on add new wallpaper, see you would be able to see all the sections, right? So there is one tried section that has been added before and this is the new wallpaper it says designed with the colors of the pride flag to celebrate the lgbtq plus community and if you look at it this is the wallpaper and this is an animated wallpaper let me set this wallpaper just to show you a demo so this is a nice wallpaper and if you just look at it so with the notifications in and out it is uh, you know animating like this so it is an animated wallpaper so definitely if you lock your screen and if you unlock or if you remove the notifications or if you just do swipe in swipe out it will change the animation so that is a good thing and also this supports the dark mode as well so whenever uh, the dark mode is set as per the system so it will change its color so this is uh, animated and a nice wallpaper and definitely a nice addition 
to the wallpaper section so i would love to have all this new wallpapers with upcoming updates or maybe with ios 17 so i request apple to add in more wallpapers like this so this was a new thing so apart from that i could not find any new features with at least ios 16.5 and that was expected considering the update size of ios 16.5 now let's talk about some of the resolved issues that we can see with iOS 16.5. So the spotlight search, as you can see, if I just swipe down, so the keyboard is coming up, right? So there were issues that in uh, multiple locations, people, when they were swiping down, this keyboard options were not coming up or it was taking a time to come up. So right now it is very smooth. And also this notification, you know, at the moment it is set to DND, but you can see that notifications are smooth, right? So there is no lag. So while people were having Having multiple notifications or multiple notifications from one app so it was overlapping with one another and when you're trying to open one notification it might open the other one so there were issues with notifications as well that is resolved with iOS 16.5 apart from that there are you know security updates as well if you go to the release notes page you would be able to see what and all is fixed with iOS 16.5 so that's all that you get with iOS 16.5 so, you know, at the talking about this, you know, update schedule, you can see that today is Friday, the 19th of May. So we are going to see the iOS 17, the first look of iOS 17 on June 5th. That is just few weeks from now. So definitely all the new big features are actually there for iOS 17. So then again, I just wanted to cover that we have received a new update and this update is globally available for everybody who's running on iOS 16. And also, if somebody is interested, I've run the Geekbench 5 scores for you. So you can see that its single score came in about 1729 and the multi-core score came in about 4467. So that's the Geekbench score. And talking about the battery life, I would actually need few days to measure how is the battery life with iOS 16.5 update. But then again, I've been running iOS 16.4, 4.1 updates on this iPhone 13 and there are no huge difference. The battery life is above average. So it lasts me for a day and i am a heavy user so if i take a look at the battery section and click on battery health and charging as you can see the battery health for this iphone is 93 percent and i've been you know using this iphone for less than one year and apple says that 80 percent for two years is just fine so 90 percent you know for just about a year i would say that's totally fine now taking a look at the battery graph you can see that for last 24 hours when i updated and for last 10 days the average screen on time is four hours two minutes and the average screen off time is one hour 11 minutes and these are the application that has been taking up my battery life as you can see that so let me know in the comment section whether you want a follow-up review maybe next week i can do a follow-up review and in that video i'll be you know talking about the battery life in detail and talking about the performance as well so this video was just a highlight video to just to let everyone know that we have received ios 16.5 update and this update as i said before is globally available so if you're running on on iOS 16.4 or any previous versions of iOS 16 then definitely definitely do update to iOS 16.5 this update also includes some of the security improvements and bug fixes as well so then again that's it for this video I hope you have liked the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already because your one like and one subscription means a lot to me and it gives me a lot of motivation to make more such kind of videos on YouTube then again that's it for this this video. I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.